Hey everyone, Colin here at eTrailer. Today I want to take a quick minute and show you guys this hitch receiver lock from eTrailer. Now basically they designed this to mount to your inch and a quarter receiver so that you can secure any accessories you, accessories that you have in your hitch. We have a ball mount right now, but you could have a cargo carrier, a bike rack, really just anything in your receiver that you need to secure. Now it's got a really nice design to it. You can see you virtually have little to no space to get anything in there and pry the lock out. What's also nice is that we have a dust cap on there that's going to help resist rust and corrosion on the inside of our lock cylinder and it's also going to help keep out dirt and debris. Now with the patented pick proof system basically you just can't pick the lock to get the lock off you have to insert the key into the lock and then you actually have to unscrew it to get it all the way off. This is a great way to ensure that your items stay secure. You can get your lock off. We'll show you the insides. You see the threads in this one, and on the inside is where it would lock in. Now with the outsider hitch, we can get a good look at it. It's gonna have a nice solid construction to it. It's got a double chrome plated uh, covering to it. It's gonna help it resist rust and corrosion. We are gonna have a pin diameter of a half inch. We're gonna have an overall length of five and a half inches, and then also an inside length of two and one eighth of an inch. So as long as your inch and a quarter receiver has at least this much space from the outside of the pinhole to the other outside, and this is gonna work for your application. What's also really cool is that if you have multiple things to lock up, let's say you have this lock for your inch and a quarter receiver, but you also got a lock for your trailer coupler, you're gonna be able to key those alike so you only have to deal with one set of keys. That way you have one in your vehicle, and no matter which lock you need to access, you just use that same set. So once you got your ball mount inserted and it lined up, We'll just insert our pin, and then we'll get our lock on and begin threading it on. When you're all done, just take the key out, put that dust cap on, you're gonna be good to go. Well, I hope this information helped you guys out. But that's gonna do it for our look at the trailer hitch receiver lock from eTrailer.